Hello and welcome again to Wood Recognition Wednesday with Wonky Workshop. Thank you very much for all of you who have watched my previous episode. We're going to continue on with the series. Uh, first of all, a little announcement on the bottom of the screen there for you. The competition winner from our Ash episode. This week we're going to consider another British hardwood, or a European hardwood, and that is European Beech. So let's have a look at that for you now. European beech then, Fagus sylvatica. If we carry on as we did from last time, so the roots of the tree would be down here, branches and foliage up the top, slice through the tree. The grain of beech is relatively uninteresting other than these telltale signs, these little flecks that you can see almost pitted throughout all the timber. And that is its kind of indicative feature, the thing that's easy enough to identify it from. It's also on its side grain there. You can see the, the lines of, of the larger grain pattern, but you've still got these little flecks. They don't necessarily show up in your cross grain there. We can see the annular rings showing how um, closer grained it is, which makes it a nice dense wood but the flecks are a lot harder to see and not as present. So color wise, it's kind of this um, pale brown. It can be pinkish brown. Quite often if it's kiln dried because it's been in a kiln, it will make it uh, slightly darker. If it's been steamed, it will go darker and we'll talk more about it with steam bending a bit later. Um, but in comparison to other timbers, we'll compare it to a piece of sycamore and you can see one in front of the other. Sycamore is quite white in comparison, whichever way you do it. The reason why I've chosen a piece of sycamore to show you, and I'll show you a close-up in a moment, is because it sometimes has very similar grain patterns, but the flecks go the opposite direction, and they're not very prevalent. But this does mean that beech can quite often be used as an alternative to replace parts on furniture that may well have been made from say maple which is a similar family to the sycamore or sycamore itself and others. Beech is a very straight grained timber which leads it to uh, be used for a very wide variety of things not least of which is things like workbenches such as mine So beech is actually uh, one of the few hardwoods that is also naturally antibacterial. So ash last time that we looked at, beech and also sycamore are the three primary ones, which is why you see an awful lot of cooking utensils and chopping boards and things like that made out of beech. Uh, beech kitchen countertops, ash kitchen countertops, oak to a certain extent is in there as well, although it's not quite so good, and beech butcher blocks that you will quite often see in traditional old school butchers. So if you're still not sure whether you can recognize beech or not, it's quite likely that you've already got some in the home. Go and find the uh, wooden spoons or spatulas, and there's a good chance there's beech. Have a look in there to see if you can see the flex. Beech also has a number of negatives to work with. So for instance, it can be, because it dries so rapidly, it can crack quite easily at the ends. It can also twist quite easily, which can be frustrating when you've just machined it. There's also shrinkage that we can see in this little bit here on my workbench. 
Well, thank you for watching again. I hope this video has been useful to you and will continue to build up your wood recognition skills. There will be another one in a fortnight's time or so, but in the meantime, if you to make sure you don't miss it, please subscribe and click on the bell below to get your notification. Also, don't forget the competition. I hope you spotted the secret code and there's a chance to win some nice pieces of beach that I will ship to anywhere within Europe or America. Okay, until next time, I'll see you again. Okay guys, so thanks for watching the video. Now, competition rules. In the video, there was a hidden code that flashed up on the screen. You need to take that code, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, go to my Instagram page and find the post with the relevant picture on it. The picture will be of the blanks that you can win this time, which will be on the screen now. So there will be a picture on my Instagram page with those blanks on it saying competition and describing when the end date is. You need to like that post, possibly tag a friend, but DM me on Instagram with the code that you find in the video. So it's very important you don't write that code on the post anywhere because then the competition's over and everyone knows the answer. Okay, so subscribe if you're not already, find the code in the video, Go to the Instagram post, send me the DM with the uh, note after tagging a friend or something on the Instagram post. Quite simple, look forward to seeing your entries.